Well, we're in Cologne now and we're on our way to the freezer. We're in the cab because it's easier to go in with a cab rather than your own car. And um, I forgot my passport, which is awesome. So we hope that there's not going to be any trouble. We're going to an area, it's called Francis Field. And it has like all a lot of like big stores like Jodan for example is in there, the paint um, manufacturer. And biking where we're going to have the life raft service. I mean what do we do before we have stuff like waves and stuff? Gira la derecha. Gira la derecha. Oh, I need this wall for Carl. There's one or two life rafts in here. con eso y eso toma aproximadamente una o dos días. Ah, ok. So he just told me that you're not going to use the mechanism that you usually use to inflate the life raft. You know, usually you, you um, have that line connected, you throw the life raft overboard, then you pull on the line and then it will inflate. So they're not going to do that because they said there's like a certain gas that will get, get released and it also it takes a long time to refill that mechanism thing. So what they're doing, and it's actually pretty cool, they're taking that all that mechanism out, what they're doing now, and then um, they're going to put everything back together the way it was before, and then they're going to inflate it with the hose here, but the hose will have the exact same pressure as the mechanism has. So. of lines, a floaty, flares, water, food, a little window, this is my light, I got a little light in here as well, and this is the ladder, it's okay, un cuchillo, this is the knife, I'm not sure if I understand any of these, but this one says stick your head out of the window if somebody comes. This one, I'm not sure. Do you know what this one means? That is if sharks go around the raft. <laughs> if sharks go around the raft, close this door. If there's good surf, then go out this way. This is expired 2016. So check this out. There's quite some corrosion on this guy. And they probably have to replace this. He says they don't check anything inside the raft because they don't want any, like, you know, like now this battery has like some acid and some corrosion. So they don't want any of that inside the raft. So they take it all out and do it out here. So we need to replace the water too. How can water expire? Yeah, because the water expired too. So <laughs> uh, we got four of them. So we need to replace with four. Oh, okay. So the rockets, as you know already, are expired too. So and also we need two hand flash. We need to replace the flashlight with four batteries. So I can read comfortably when I sit in my life. Right? Exactly. So now we're gonna inflate the 
floor, which is usually done manually once you're in the life raft. Yeah. But just to see if everything is sealed. So the um, it's certified now for how many years? The next service will be next year. Next year? Yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the first time, so it's going to do that. Okay, because not everything is just like popping open. Exactly. Ready! All my sea wrapped up again. Well, I actually wanted to hide this from you. Because it's actually really, really bad. But I have decided not to hide it from you because it's actually part of boat life as well. <laughs> and I think Carl has reached a new level of crazy upside downness. It's just insane. Time is just running and we're just trying to get ready to get out of here. So nothing is like all the area of the tank and stuff where the table usually is. It's still all open. and we've just been like buying shit and like tossing it on the boat and you know not real storage but just like everything is upside down because nothing is in its place so i'm gonna give you a look of what it uh inside of what it looks like and um yeah i don't really want to but i will okay let's go so this is the head and there's like uh <laughs> the, the these drawers are from my table in the salon and they're just sitting here and then, <laughs> yep, here it begins. So this is the front cabin, and I've been sleeping there with my water tank and all the cushions and stuff, so it got a little bit tighter. And then up here is everything that usually goes in the storage area above the tank and below the salon seats. So Carl's listing a bit as well. And then down here is various stuff, tools, and parts and whatnot from yard. And then over here is lots of stuff like groceries and like veggies, fruit, dry stuff. Whoa! <laughs> Quite some swell. Now up here still more groceries and then this is how it's been lately. This is my table that usually goes in here. My fridge is up there. And then in here is the massive hole. A couple of beers and like bubbly drinks. More groceries, lead. And then Simon usually sleeps here, so we need some room for him as well. And then it continues with the craziness outside where there is my recently serviced life raft, another water tank, and um, yeah, PVC pipes for a project uh, that we're gonna tackle, which is to build a little trawler to collect samples of microplastic in the ocean. You see, I did not promise too little. It's quite the chaos. Simon was so polite to go to shore and do some laundry because I think he knows I need some time to clear my head and clear this mess and I, it's nicer if you do that by yourself and don't have anybody sitting around and looking over your shoulder and going like oh god this is such a mess no but it's nice that we got everything and it's gonna get this all in order and then tomorrow we got to or tonight we got to put in put back in the water tanks and then fill up with water diesel check out of the country and go but more about that next week.